Hi everyone, today I found something really impressive about Sci-Hub. As it turns out, uh, Sci-Hub downloads lead to more article citation and it might as well be a predictor uh, of future citations. So for the one that live on another planet and don't know about Sci-Hub, I'm gonna first present a little bit uh, what is it about? And for the one that I already know, well, skip uh, to the point of the video that explains what I just found today about this amazing fact. Let's begin. Okay, for example, you're an uh, entomologist and you, know, you wanna know about, uh, I don't know, immunity, about parasitoids, wipes parasitoids, yeah, okay. So, um, I don't know, let's pick up, uh, you look for your little article, ah, this one seems uh, cool, okay, let's pick it up. And what's happening, well, you want the PDF, you click on it, ah, and they ask you for, yeah, sweet money, so what do you do? Usually, you just copy the title, and go like this, with PDF at the end. And most of the time, well, I don't know, you're not really lucky and you go in an insane loop. Or sometimes you are more lucky and you find actually someone that put, um, that put it online. Or you ask your friends for like uh, institutional access. If you don't have friends, well, what you do, you go on Sci-Hub. Sci-Hub, Sci-Hub, doop. And you paste the title of the DOI and Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Magic or magic, the full article is available for you for free in less than five seconds. So, this is how SciHub is cool, and it was like a turning point in my academic um, life. So, you might wonder who is this charming person waving at you right here? Where, as it turns out, she is the creator of uh, Sci-Hub. Uh, her little name is Alexandra Elbakayan. I probably uh, pronounced it wrong because she's Russian and I'm French, speaking with a really weird accent. And uh, well, you can find her on Facebook as well if you want to friend her. I don't know if she will answer because she's probably she's like a superstar now. So let's get to the point. Um, the thing is, like you might consider that it's pretty much, um, you know, uh, piracy uh, to download stuff like that, you know, because, you know, yeah, the publisher have to, 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 to make money. I mean, you know, they, they need to live, they need to, they need to feed their children. So you might think, yeah, just downloading uh, movies or um, music, like, but in the scientist world. So is it good or is it bad? Well, according to Sci-Hub, they only use um, donated password. So you might think, well, then it's fine. But uh, in many places on the internet, they've been accused of, you know, uh, uh, hacking, uh, phishing, or like attacking websites to get more volume. But I'm not sure if it's the actual um, point of the Sci-Hub project. But I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, who am I? The thing is, like, in the internet you find a lot of stuff, like, for example, this dude that say that, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, yeah, Andrew Spitz, that says, like, basically, uh, yeah, I mean, they've been, like, doing attacks, uh, incursions and stuff. I mean, maybe they did, maybe they didn't, I don't know, that's not the point. The point is, like, who, he, I mean, is it damaging, damaging science and is it damaging uh, the publishing world, really, I mean, you know, that really matters for a scientist, no? So let's have a look at that. Well, um, you know, the thing is, m half of the publication um, taken care of, like, uh, by Elsevier, Wiley, and Cambridge, Oxford publications and stuff, they are they are like really big, really, really big. So you might think, oh, well, then, you know, it's just like if I was pirating, uh, I don't know, Disney Channel or Netflix, oh my God, the poor dudes, that the, they're probably gonna go bankrupt like tomorrow, you know, they, they, they don't make money at all, poor, poor things, you know. But yeah, that's a point. But the other thing is like, look, this lady, 
made a really good point. I think she she was like working for science and something, but I mean, it doesn't matter. The point is like, you know, uh, she mentioned that uh, you don't get the download statistics of your paper when you use uh, Sci-Hub. So basically, you know, the, the way that you're supposed to measure uh, the impact of your work and the, for example, uh, an employer, a an university or a private uh, a co company, how can they measure your efficiency in terms of science, uh, productivity and stuff if they, if they can't have like uh, this data that, I mean, you know, doesn't matter if it's good, fair or bad, but that's just the way it is. I mean, they just use your uh, impact uh, through this kind of statistics, right? So the thing is, Sci-Hub doesn't have such a thing, you know, at all. You know, you just uh, get the paper as raw as it can be and you don't have anything. So one thing that could be good is like, uh, Alexandra, please uh, put some kind of a panel or something that show the downloaded statistics from uh, a sci-hub so you know it might help a bit who knows maybe someone should do um, a kickstarter project <coughs> to send out the money for that because obviously you know uh, sci-hub is probably not <coughs> the only thing she does uh, during her day so you know let's let's pay her for that you know she's doing great job uh, good or bad it is i don't know i'm not there to judge i'm just saying you know look at this uh, different perspective that's it Let's talk about the not so cool thing. I mean, yes and no. Actually, a Russian scientist uh, named a parasitic wasp, parasitoid wasp, uh, after Alejandra Elbakayan, Elbakayan, sorry. And personally, as an entomologist, you know, I think it's absolutely awesome, and I would love someone to name a wasp after me. But according to the internet, so it's worth what it's worth. Uh, well, she didn't take it so happy and uh, she shut down uh, uh, a sci-hub for a while. So it was mentioned in this um, news of uh, science in 2017, but I don't have access to it. Oh, wait a minute, but there is sci-hub, right? Uh, let's see. Ah, here you go. All right. And where is it? Tuck, 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 tuck. Oh, here you go. See? She shut down uh, the, the platform because, well, aside from this uh, wasp uh, event, well, I have to admit that she's been sued, she's been like criticized, she's been attacked uh, online I mean, quite uh, intensively. So, well, fair enough, you know. I mean, she's pretty much on her own with this thing, apparently. So, you know, I, I understand that. The other really cool thing is that people talk about her, I mean, mention her, cite her as, a, you know, a real uh, contribution to the thesis. When you Google in Google Scholar, I mean, you when you research in Google Scholar, uh, thanks, uh, Alexandra uh, Elbakayan, where you get all these uh, results, you know, that people actually, you know, actually mention them, mention her in in that in the thesis. So you know, bravo, bravo, I would say. This is uh, the article, the the paper. So the cyber effect, Sci-Hub downloads uh, lead to more article citations. So it's impressive, right? I mean, you know, they're supposed to be pirates at the end, but they actually has a good impact on science. The publisher are probably really upset anyway, but I mean, you know, facts are facts. So this is what happens apparently. And it might improve the citation rate apparently 1.72 uh, times more than papers that are not downloaded from Sci-Hub. So it's pretty impressive. The problem is uh, this paper is quite something. 
when it comes to uh, statistics and modeling uh, knowledge and I have to admit that it's definitely out of my skills to understand these things. So uh, if someone in this audience, in, in someone watching this video, could please uh, put in the comments if if it's valid, if it's worth something, if it's real, that would be really cool. Uh, uh, because I, I really don't know. I mean, I, I really want to know if it's true and I, I would like to know the consequences, the impact that it has to do. Uh, uh, you know, I'm really happy using Sci-Hub. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you know, many, many people, everyone use Sci-Hub now, I mean. But, you know, I, I don't know if I should feel like a nasty pirate or if I should feel like just, you know, the poor, the poor little uh, PhD student that, you know, needs to access his paper uh, during, you know, the out, during the stay at home time uh, and after too, you know, because let's be honest, um, not all in the universities have, have access to all papers because, you know, for example, Harvard has a budget between, I don't know, half a million to two million uh, dollars a year just for a journal subscri subscription, subscription, subscriptions. So imagine like a smaller university. I mean, you know, how can they afford that? So my point being, please uh, tell me what you think. Tell me what we should do about it. Tell me, I don't know. And if uh, Alexandra is watching, thanks, and I hope you don't uh, uh, get upset for the wasp thing. I'm, I'm, I'm really jealous, uh, to be honest, for the wasp thing. I wish I had a wasp named after me. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna put like a whole bunch of links in the description. Uh, obviously, the, the link to the paper, you know, the, about the Sci-Hub effect. And please uh, subscribe, obviously. And... Uh, see you next time. Bye.